Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. Welcome back. Today's video? Um, we found a little extra square footage on the bus, believe it or not. Yeah, if you'd like to see where, huh, we're going to make you watch the video. <laughs> I built this piece of framework yesterday, that angle there. I did that after it started raining. Um, I'll show you how much it's changed since last time you've seen it. I'm sure it'll be gone by tomorrow, but either way, it started raining, turned into snow overnight. Um, I finished this. I didn't want the camera out in the rain. I thought today I was just going to just weld along here and here and bolted in over here it was just going to be easy peasy i thought i may or may not need a leg i don't know yet but i realized before once i was going to put this on that once i put it here getting to this area here to insulate and then getting to this area to box it in is going to be really hard so i think i gotta get some quarter inch plywood and cut it and get some outside working in the snow anyway but at least i got a plan now <laughs> Trying to hold that big piece was almost impossible, if not impossible. I wasn't going to be happy with the result, or I was going to cut it off and re-weld it, and it just wasn't going to be right. I don't even know if it's going to stay there. The reason this is lower is we we're originally going to bolt a seat down here, and Nancy wanted her seat to be on level with the driver's seat. I think if we bolt a seat there, we're going to have a seat that removes and reattaches up above, or maybe even pivots up above. I don't know, but I don't think the seat needs to be down low. I think it can be up above. Well, it's not going to be permanent. It's going to be able to be removed, but it's got to be sturdy enough to where if it is permanent, then I never have to worry about going back to it either. So, yeah, either way, this is what I've come up with. Instead of trying to weld this, this frame here to that frame there in those spots or around the way, I'm going to take these little pieces of scrap that I have and weld them. I'll weld them below it at the right height. I'll use another piece for And then once that's welded on like that, I'll be able to set my frame on these. And then weld that to that. And be able to put the welds because they'll be down below in spots where I can get to them again to regrind them off if I want to remove it. But if it wants to stay in there forever, it can stay in there forever.
tore a hole in it. Left the metal there. That's why I just wanted to do a couple spots though, because I wanted it to be reversible. I'll grind these welds off and do it right this time. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about this. I have those tabs welded on there. I was able to weld really well along the sides to hold the tabs on. Now this is basically sitting on the tabs. I don't need nearly as much weld. I'll just do a little bit. Just right between them. Just to hold it in place. And then I'll bolt it to the wall over there. That's going to hold it quite well. I just got to get the bottom plywood done now. And then I'll get back to this. black markers. I always use green. Mm, I was going to put foam underneath there. Now i got to pull this back out and put some foam behind it. And I also have to cut pieces for here that I'll screw on but I'll have to pull them back off so I can stuff styrofoam styrofoam so I can stuff fiberglass insulation into here which I don't have at this time. There. I have styrofoam in this time so now I can wedge this thing in for the final time. pretty snugly. I left this square. If I decide I want to put a railing in here, mm -hmm. I'll trim that out. If not, I'm going to leave it like that. I angled the upper one, mainly because the upper one's what you would kick then coming around the corner with your ankle. Yeah. That didn't seem pleasant. I should drill a hole, shouldn't I? This is fairly thin though here, so I thought I could do it. Flatten it? Yeah. Oh, good lord. That too big. Just pushing it. Fuck. I hate those little drill bits. I always break them. Well, I made it through, but I just caught the edge. Come over and look at this. See? I went through this one and then I cut the very edge of this one so that cocks it sideways and breaks it. Oh. I wonder if anybody has ever tried to keep track of their bit casualties while redoing a bus. Probably. <laughs> Probably people that don't realize it's going to cost them hundreds of dollars in, in bits. Consumables. I think that's the most frustrating part. Yeah. Is how much of that little shit you go through and you don't realize how much it adds up until you've gone yeah. through it and you're like, holy Boxes shit. Boxes of screws. And these things aren't, when all of a sudden it's a 30 some dollar box of screws and a couple boxes and later you go you're like, three oh. or four of them? Yeah. Good, good and tight though. Because of the 
black marshal. I wish I, I should be using a green one like I used to. I made one of the cuts inside in the wrong spot because I looked at a black mark that was there, not the black mark I made. Let's see how these fit. insulation in. Now I did not make this exactly perfect. It's probably perfect if it sits about like this with it gapped out about like that. This angle was about perfect with what was below it. This was square. Unfortunately this I had to pull this was out too far so I had to pull this in and tack this and get it all right angled mm -hmm. and I was really happy with the way it turned out until I measured it afterwards. <laughs> it looks nice. But it was just like it was raining. It was that sleety shit was coming down on me. I was working kind of fast mm -hmm. and I forgot to remeasure this after I tacked it and whatever. And this whole thing looks like if you follow it compared to this beam, it dips down a little, which is weird to me, but it was like that on the original bus floor. That's the way the beam went that held the seat rails too. So we're never going to park so straight that an eighth of an inch of floor drop is going to make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> but this now the weight because these are welded on there good the weight will go down i can just i don't even have to weld it that much just to hold the two together and that way if i ever want to remove it if we want to put the seat down here or something i can just cut those welds and we can take it back out and it isn't going to be that hard almost like it was just welded. Do you want a different color? Here. I'm just cut this one in here where I can actually see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. you Thank you. Do you want me to stand on this side? I don't want her. that can't even fill it While you were doing this. Yeah, I did. Good. I was hoping we didn't need to have a beam in it. It's 
now whatever we want to do for cubbies or anything to slide in and out in the future we can do and for now it's just one big open space open stuff shoes in or whatever nice you wouldn't think what three square feet would make a difference but right now where this chair is it's almost hanging off the edge and you don't really want to hang it off the edge but having it there gives us so much more room yeah it was you, you wouldn't think it would be very much because here it was, it was so tight you're either catching which i know that all that's going to change everything between there and the fridge is just temporary shelving and carts at this point but so one more time we've been uh showing the benefits of actually living on the bus while we're converting it because we we weren't gonna necessarily put floor there no no we we're pretty set on having a seat down low there so you could be at the same height as me yeah yeah we're spending a lot more time still right now than we are rolling down the road i think our next stop is going to be a couple months too at least so. i think so so the value to us is more in the living space than the riding space uh um now i don't know what i was going to say next snow's gone oh it is i don't know can you see out the window no snow well we don't have a tv hooked up to an antenna we just get our news off like youtube or the internet or whatever and um what two days after the snowstorm i see this thing pop up that says 135 year record broken for snowfall amount in oklahoma city which is yeah. 40 miles from here and i'm thinking to myself wow that was a record that wouldn't <laughs> have even stopped the school it was the school I don't know. would not have even been delayed two hours no it, in minnesota for what we just had on new year's eve and new year's day in oklahoma we've yeah. had the ice storm of the century no yeah. ice storm of 10 years or whatever yeah, yeah. and 135 year snowstorm and we, <laughs> us minnesotans skated through both of them not even knowing we we're skating through some kind of yeah, we just thought it was a Tuesday. <laughs> um, I think we have a couple of pictures of the ice storm that we actually had at the beginning of this winter. Um, if you did not know, we have a website, actually. There's a link down in the description below um, where I try to keep the pictures as updated as I can. And sometimes I write things that are worth reading. Um, check it out. Don't check it out. Anyways. Hope you like this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace. Bye. Smash that like button. Oh, shut up. Wouldn't hurt to hit subscribe though. <laughs> Maybe hit the like button. Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. I don't like your head. Fuck you. <laughs> I meant I didn't like its position on the thing. <laughs> Not that I don't. I like your head. I love you. <laughs> you wouldn't even mean to me. I love you too, Doric. <laughs> okay.